Inside of Perfect Effects, on the right-hand side, you'll see an effects stack. This allows you to stack together multiple filters to create a unique look. Now the first thing you'll notice is on top there's an empty layer and underneath is your original photo layer. This will make sure that you never harm your original image so you can always revert back to it if you decide you don't like your effects. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a couple of filters to show you how this works. I'll twirl open my vintage category. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and I'll click on a filter to apply it. It'll automatically replace that empty layer with my new effects layer. Down at the bottom of the effect stack is an amount slider, and this allows me to control the opacity of that effect. So I can keep it at 100%, or I can go all the way down to reduce that effect. So I'm going to go back up to about 70 or 80. Then I want to add an effect on top of it. Now if I went ahead and clicked on another effect inside my library, it would automatically replace this layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Add button, and now I have a new empty layer so I can apply a second effect. So I'll go up to my Borders category, I'll twirl open one, and I'll add a border. Now once I click it, it'll replace that second empty layer with my new border effect. If I decide that I don't like any of these effects, I can go ahead and select an effect and just click the Delete button. Now I can go back and I can add a new layer and I can apply a different effect. So that's a quick overview of how to use the effects stack inside of Perfect Effects.